Nakajima Ki-84 Nakajima Aircraft The history of the Nakajima Company, one of the oldest and best-known Japanese aircraft manufacturers, dates back to December 6, 1917, when a former officer of the Imperial Navy, Jikoki I. Nakajima, established the Hikoki Kenkyusho Aircraft Research Institute near the Daikoin Temple in Oda. On October 27, 1911, Nakajima had piloted Japan's first airship. He was also commissioned as a lieutenant in the Navy in 1911. After graduating from the Naval Staff College in 1912, Nakajima had been sent to the United States to study aircraft construction and complete pilot training at the Glenn Curtis Factory and School of Aviation. In the U.S., he became the third Japanese to receive a pilot's license. In 1915, he drafted the first paper advocating the bombing of civilians to crush a nation's resistance morale. This is also known as terror bombing. On his return to Japan, he designed an improved version of the French Farman float plane for the Japanese Navy. Nakajima was dispatched as a military attaché to Europe in 1916 to observe firsthand the use of aircraft in combat. On his return to Japan in 1917, he resigned from the military. The beginnings were modest, but in April 1919, the new company received its first big orders for a self-designed two-seat training biplane, the Nakajimi Shiki Gogata, type Nakajimi Model 5. By May 1921, the company had built 118 of these aircraft for both the Army and non-military customers. From 1941 to 1945, the company built 28% of all the aircraft produced in Japan, or no less than 37.1%, if only military aircraft are considered, and 31.3% of engines. The Nakajima Ki-43 Hayabusa, Peregrine Falcon in Japanese, was a single-engine land-based tactical fighter used by the Japanese Army Air Force in World War II. The Allied reporting name was Oscar, but it was often called the Army Zero by American pilots because it bore a certain resemblance to the Mitsubishi A6M Zero, the Japanese Navy's counterpart to the Ki-43. Both aircraft had generally similar layout and lines, and also used essentially the same Nakajima Sakai radial engine with similar round cowlings and bubble-type canopies the Oscars being distinctly smaller and having much less framing than that of the A6L. A better fighter needed. Shortly after the Japanese Army Air Force was equipped with the Ki-43, the Rikigun Koku Hambo, Army Air Headquarters, and the Nakajimi Board of Directors began to prepare initial guidelines for the design of a new fighter aircraft that could in the future succeed both the Ki-43 and the Ki-44 Shoki. The Ki-44 was a fighter interceptor officially designated Army Type II single-seat fighter, and its Allied reporting name was Tojo. Japanese Army Air Force staff members were aware that new types of enemy fighters would soon appear, which the Ki-43 would not be able to defeat. They were looking for a universal offensive fighter aircraft of possibly long range that would combine the best features of the Ki-43 agility and the Ki-44 good performance heavy armament. It was also important that construction be simplified for a shorter production time. On December 29, 1941, the Koku Hambo gave Nakajima instructions as to the tactical and technical requirements for the new heavy, then simply meaning cannon-armed fighter, known at this stage as the Shisaka Chusentoki, Army Experimental Heavy Fighter. The construction was to be all metal with self-sealing fuel tanks, cockpit armor, and heavy armament. In order to meet the requirements, Nakajima formed a design team led by the experienced engineer Yasushi Koyama, the designer or co-designer of all three previous fighter types used by the Japanese Army Air Force. Need for an improved fighter became more urgent after the U.S. captured an A6M-0 in the Aleutian Islands in June 1942, thus becoming able to learn how to combat that formidable aircraft. Development The elaborate design of the Ki-84 was finished in November 1942, whereupon the building of a prototype immediately followed. The Ki-84 Hate, Swift Wind, first flew in March 1943, and deliveries from Nakajima's Oda factory commenced the following month. The Allied code name for the Ki-84 was Frank. The Ki-84 was a cantilever low-wing monoplane of all-metal construction, except for the fabric-covered control surfaces with conventional landing gear. The design addressed the most common complaints about the popular and highly maneuverable Ki-43, insufficient firepower, poor defensive armor, and lack of climbing speed. 
Armament comprised two fuselage-mounted synchronized 50 caliber machine guns and two wing-mounted 20 mm cannons, a considerable improvement over the Key 43 Hayabusa, which had only two cowling machine guns of varying configuration. However, whereas the propeller of Key 43 models had two or three blades, the Hates was four-bladed, making it challenging to properly synchronize the machine guns. Defensive armor offered hate pilots better protection than the unsealed wing tanks and light alloy airframe of the Key 43. In addition, the Key 84 used a 2.56 inch armor glass canopy, 0.51 inches of head and back armor, and multiple bulkheads in the fuselage, which protected both the methanol water tank used to increase the effectiveness of the supercharger and the centrally located fuel tank. The aircraft was normally equipped with a radio set and oxygen system. Although the design itself was solid, growing difficulties in securing skilled pilots, proper fuel and construction materials, and adequate manufacture often prevented the aircraft from reaching its full potential in the field. To compound reliability problems, the Allied submarine blockade prevented delivery of crucial components, such as the landing gear. Many landing gear units were comprised by the poor quality heat treatment of late war Japanese steel. As a result, many hates suffered strut collapses on landing. The complicated direct injection engine was a compact design, only 1.18 inches larger in diameter than the Key 43's 1,700 cubic inch, 14-cylinder Nakajima Sakai radial. It required a great deal of care in construction and maintenance, and it became increasingly difficult to maintain design performance as the Allies advanced toward the Japanese homeland. Further damage was caused by inadequately trained late-war pilots who sometimes found it difficult to transition to the relatively hot Key 84 from the comparatively docile Key 43, which had a significantly lower landing speed. A batch of no fewer than 83 service trial aircraft was initiated in the early summer of 1943, immediately upon confirmation by Army test pilots at the Tachikawa Air Arsenal of the Nakajima test pilots' enthusiastic report on the capabilities of the Key 84. The first of these pre-production fighters following closely on the heels of the second Key 84 prototype from the Oda plant in August 1943. Combat In the later years of World War II, the greatest threat to the Japanese was attacked by high-altitude bombers. The Nakajima Key 84 had great climbing speed and its engine could attain the altitude to engage the bombers. The Key 84 reached a maximum level speed of 387 miles per hour and in a dive was able to reach a top speed of 496 miles per hour. It could climb to 16,400 feet in 6 minutes and 26 seconds, and had a ceiling of 40,680 feet. In late August 1944, the Key 84 first entered combat over China with the 22nd Air Regiment. This unit had been involved in the testing training period of the new fighter. Initial results were excellent, catching the American Army Air Force's pilots completely off guard. While a skilled Key 84 pilot was evenly matched with the best U.S. pilots and equipment, the majority of Key 84s lost in battles in the Philippines were destroyed on the ground. In the closing days of the war in the Pacific, it was not uncommon to hear U.S. Army Air Force's radar operators on Okinawa mutter, forget it, it's a Frank. The technicians knew that the fast-moving blips they were watching were Key 84 hates, on their way to intercept squadrons of Boeing B-29s. It was customary to scramble flights of North American P-51s to protect the bombers, but sometimes even the Mustangs were unable to catch the swift Japanese fighters. The first major operational involvement was during the Battle of Leyte in October 1944, and from that moment until the end of the war, the Key 84 was deployed wherever the action was intense. Although the plane lacked sufficient high-altitude performance, it performed well at medium and low levels. Seeing action against the U.S. 14th Air Force, it quickly gained a reputation as a combat aircraft to be reckoned with. Fighter bomber models also entered service. On April 15, 1945, 11 hates attacked U.S. airfields on Okinawa, destroying many aircraft on the ground. Some measure of the importance attached to the Key 84 may be judged by the fact that in the last 17 months of war, 3,382 aircraft were completed, despite the tremendous havoc brought by the B-29 raids, and that owing to such damage at Musashi, Nakajima's engine plant had to be transferred elsewhere. Last Service By the close of World War II, 
underground factories were being ready to produce 200 Ki-84s per month. Unfortunately for Japan, this impressive warplane came too late to turn the tide. In 1945, the Manchu Aircraft Company and the Japanese-sponsored puppet state of Manchu Kuo embarked on the Ki-116 variant, which aimed at providing greater power to the Ki-84 design. A single prototype was built with a 1,500-horsepower Mitsubishi engine, mated with a three-blade propeller. The Ki-116 prototype weighed 1,000 pounds less than the latest Ki-84 variant and was considered a promising development. The end of the war, however, prematurely ended this project. After the war, a number of aircraft were tested by Allied forces, two at the Allied Technical Air Intelligence Unit, Southwest Pacific Area, and a further two in the United States. In the post-war period, the Nakajima Ki-84 was operated by the Chinese People's Liberation Army Air Force, Chinese Nationalist Air Force, and Indonesian Air Force. One example captured at Clark Field during 1945 was transported aboard the USS Long Island aircraft carrier to the United States. In 1952, it was sold off as surplus to Edward Maloney, owner of the Ontario Air Museum, and restored to flying condition before being returned to Japan for display at the Arashiyama Museum in Kyoto in 1973. With unsupervised access allowed, parts were stolen from the Ki-84, and coupled with years of neglect, it could no longer fly. Following the museum's closure in 1991, the aircraft was transferred to the Takohaiwa Kinankan Museum Kagoshima Prefecture, where it is displayed to this day. That museum is the site of an Imperial Japanese Army airfield with two runways, which was the principal base of kamikaze pilots during the Battle of Okinawa. Of the 1,036 Army aviators who died in that battle, 439 were from Chiran. Of the total number, 335 were classed as young boy pilots. The Ki-84 displayed there is the only example known to survive. If you like these types of videos, subscribe to our channel and get notification when we release new episodes. For more interesting military history content, check out our video library.